Hi Photoshop folks. I want to show you how to get an account on Fontspace, download a, a font that you might like, and then put it inside your computer to use in Photoshop. Now I'm showing this on a, a Windows machine. So Fontspace.com is the place that uh, I just got an account and that's my username Casper Beta. I also have an account at 1001fonts.com I've tested both of these places out find that their fonts are free from any problems no viruses attached or anything uh, that's what I believe and uh, I've run scans AVG and uh, Superbug scans and all this stuff so anyway uh, there'll be a box right here uh, where you can sign up and get an account uh, I the reason I'm bringing this font thing up right now is because we're on the uh, in the month of December now and I thought you know great let's get some Christmas fonts so I'm gonna go right up here and type in Christmas and hit the little magnifying glass and there's several uh, great looking fonts here to use and you know there's quite a few here go down here and you just keep going uh, I guess up to 27 pages of these and you can work your way backwards if you want to so lots of lots of uh, fonts and I'm going to show you how to uh, download uh, one of my favorites let me back up here whoops forward and I think it's Chopin yes right here uh, I've already downloaded this one this is a heavier uh, font right here so I'm going to click on uh, that font and I'm going to say I want to save this file I'm in Firefox browser so this little down arrow is going to light up because I want to save the file it's already there so if I click on it I'm just going to bring this onto my desktop you know, let's just, just move this over real quick so you can see it uh, this is the first one I'm going to actually scan this to make sure it's good and clean and it is and there's a second scan that I like to run and it's with the super anti-spyware and it's clean so now I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to extract it and I'm just gonna leave it in the default shell click extract and, and there is the font okay now I need to go down to my windows you move the viewing area down I'm going to click on my little windows ball here and I'm going to go to the control panel and in the control panel I'm going to let me move my recording area once more I can get my brackets to stay on here there we go uh, I'm going to just move this over here to the edge uh, bring up my control panel and I want to go to appearance and personalization and then I'm going to go to fonts you see all my fonts that are uh, in here that I use inside Photoshop and so forth I'm going to turn this back on this is the file folder that has the OTF and the TTF I'm just going to click and drag to select both of those and just drag it and drop it right in there and you heard the boing right so uh, already installed yes I'm just going to go ahead yes I've already got it on there but I wanted you to see it install it so now when I go to Photoshop you can just bring Photoshop up and I'm going to create a, a new document and just have it black 
so there it is I'm going to go to the text and just click in here and type in Merry Christmas maybe now the color is black on black so obviously that's not going to show well I'm going to do a control A to select the text and I'm going to center justify it let's click right here to change the font color to white so now we have the font there this isn't the right one uh, so I'm going to click and just drag to select it you know, make sure it's highlighted and then I can go up here and type in Chopin C H O and it goes right to it and there is my new font so if I click on the move tool you see what it looks like and we can make it bigger and so forth and just hit enter so that's how you install uh, a font inside of your uh, fonts folder to use inside Photoshop if Photoshop is open when you do this and you install it you will not see that font show up in here you have to close Photoshop and once you've installed it reopen it and it should be there for you to use alright so again going to uh, this website fontspace.com will allow you to just see all of these great fonts now not all of these are for commercial use so if we click on this for example scroll down and you'll see yep this one can be used uh, for commercial so if you uh, use this font and it's for something that makes money for you it's okay but some of these it's not okay so we click on one starry night this is for personal use only no commercial use so you could uh, you know make something on uh, Facebook and put it up there but uh, because you're not using uh, the font for commercial gain so hopefully this was helpful uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, I love the fact that we can have so many fonts but don't go crazy uh, and load hundreds and hundreds of fonts it can really you know, slow Photoshop down uh, because they do take up space. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.